friends, I am Dr. Swapna Chekuri from Hyderabad Women and Fertility Center. Welcome to my channel. So today let us discuss about epidural analgesia. Does it have any effect on our baby or not? So friends, so basically in epidural analgesia, there is absolutely no direct effect on the baby as such. And it's quite safe. You can go ahead. So in uh, epidural analgesia, basically the pain perception will, be, will not be there. But the uterine contractions will be lasting and the motor activity will continue. So the patient may not perceive the pain, but then still the uterine contractions will be continuing as such and then uh, what and ideally at what time you need to take the epidural analgesia so basically when the cervix is around five to six centimeters dilated that's the ideal time where you need to take epidural analgesia so when the approximate duration like you know in another three to four hours you will deliver so that's the ideal time to take the epidural analgesia some individuals they can't even bear a little pain so even when the cervix is like around one to two centimeters dilated they would advise they would ask for a, they would request for a epidural analgesia but in those cases we need to give more of top-ups so what happens when the top-ups are more that might have a little effect on the fetus the baby might become lethargic baby might require oxygen support and might require tactile stimulation or uh, ambo stimulation so that's the reason we usually advise the lady to take epidural analgesia at around five to six centimeters of cervical dilatation so basically when we are putting the epidural analgesia we shift the patient to the OT there we put the epidural catheter uh, and uh, it requires a continuous anesthetic moni anesthetist monitoring and even as a gynecologist monitoring as well so for from the anesthetist side whenever the uh, effect has gone they need to give an extra top up and uh, based on her uh, parameters based on her vitals and from our side we need to do a continuous uh, fetal heart rate monitoring if the fetal heartbeat is good if the labor is progressing satisfactory then it's okay otherwise if at all any fetal distress or if the labor is not uh, progressing satisfactory or if at all baby has passed meconium then that's an indication for immediate conversion to cesarean section so in those cases where we need to do a cesarean section we give an extra top up through the epidural catheter itself and we can go ahead with the cesarean section so that's the advantage of having an epidural catheter and that's the reason we usually put the epidural catheter in the OT itself. And then um, what are the drawbacks? See there are a few drawbacks with the epidural analgesia as well. So ideally it should be given at around 5 to 6 centimeters of cervical dilatation. So whatever the painless analgesia whatever we say but uh, initial half of the pains though you need to bear down the later half of the pains probably that can be masked with the help of epidural analgesia if at all if you take uh, epidural analgesia at a uh, early uh, early stages of labor like you know when the cervix is like one to two centimeters dilated you require extra top-ups and that it can lead to a lethargic baby as well and uh, what are the what is the most important drawback with epidural analgesia so thing is like a second stage of labor which is nothing but the from the full dilatation of the cervix till the delivery of the baby we consider this as a second stage of labor so in epidural analgesia the second stage of labor will be prolonged because the mother won't be perceiving the pain but the uterine contractions also she may not be able to understand adequately so that's when we palpate for the uterine contractions and we usually ask the lady to push back but uh, she may not be able to push adequately and that's when we need to apply a forceps or we need to apply a ventos and extract the baby so the chance of instrumental delivery will be more and the chance of prolonged second stage of labor also will be more with the epidural analgesia uh, so friends if you find the video is informative please like my video and share with your friends and needy people and uh, do follow us on uh, instagram and facebook as well thank you mm -hmm.